Good morning and welcome to Washington. It is raining. We are along this nice river. And we slept in this nice angled spot with rocks everywhere. Um, there wasn't enough room for all of us, so everyone was stationed uh, downstream a little bit. And uh, we came up here, I threw up my rain fly, luckily, and they had a tarp that covered everyone. So everyone was sheltered, but it is raining once again, and we're trying to get out of here. So it's gonna be a wet day. Um, this is only 30% chance rain. In California, when we hear about 30% chance rain, it's like, eh, it's probably not gonna rain. But uh, this is Washington, a whole different animal. So we're getting wet. Awesome. There's the crew. We're at Panther Creek. Beautiful misty morning. those jokers just sitting there they'll pass me soon now we got a huge hill to climb like 4,000 feet Oof. wish me luck oh and it's a 13 mile water carry so that's cool Bigfoot at your back. <laughs> Wild Sasquatch here coming for you. Good morning. I got an early start, about six o'clock. Morning everybody. So this morning my batteries were uh, not working too well. So I had to dig in my pack and get a new battery. Uh, you didn't miss much. Hopefully you caught a little bit. It would work for a little bit and then cut out. But I think I fixed it. And uh, we are at Blue Lake and it's gorgeous. And we just took a little break. There's, there's people and um, anyway we're gonna go like 26 miles today and is he over there we're looking for wind chime um, but, yeah. <laughs> but anyways we're gonna go about 22 miles today and head for trout Lake City
Okay, I just saw the weirdest thing. You know when you, you know when you say hi to people and they just ignore you, they just kind of look at you? Does that only happen to me or does that happen to everyone? Okay, so I said hi like three times because I'm like, I didn't know what I was seeing. I saw a horse, I saw two people, about four growling dogs and five goats. I'm not sure how the goats fit into this, but they didn't seem very friendly, so I kept moving. But that's probably the weirdest thing I've seen on trail. I wish I would have filmed that. <laughs> it's so random. Okay, but yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's just some goats coming up here. Valerie, if you're watching, I'm so sorry I didn't film them. I know you love goats, but this was a weird place to find them. <laughs> I, I was wondering if it was like some kind of trail maintenance thing, like they're eating vegetation, keep the trail open or what, but that was very interesting. But yeah, we're just in the, still in the forest, still in the forest of Washington, just cruising along. I'm gonna try to go 26 miles today, actually. Um, I have about 13 miles to go. It's about 2.30. Um, we're gonna try to figure out this fire situation at Goat Rocks. Uh, so we're gonna go to Trout Lake, which was a unexpected stop. I think I already said this, but we're running out of food anyway. We're ravenous. I don't know what's going on. I brought like seven days of food and most of it's gone. <laughs> so I finally got my hiker hunger, I guess. Um, it's a bit scary. But yeah, we should get to Trout Lake tomorrow morning and we can get an update on the fires, see what's going on. I talked to my dad, it sounds like it's, the trail should be fine and that the smoke may clear up a bit. So. Hopefully all is well, and all is safe, and hopefully everyone else near the fire is safe. Yeah, see? Goat poop. I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> Interesting little mushroom. No idea what that is. It's pretty neat. I'm on a little bit of a mushroom frenzy. I'm not sure uh, what this is. Let's get that color. No idea what that is. If someone knows, uh, put a comment on there so I can find out what that is. Um, Cause right now, to me, I'm going to call that candy corn mushroom. Because <laughs> I have no clue. I wish I knew mushrooms a little better. Um, especially the edible ones. But that's for another day. Still in a forest. Nice and green. Man, I love this vegetation. It's hard to believe uh, areas like this are on fire nearby. I mean, there is a lot of down trees, down logs, branches, but it's also really green and kind of wet and spaced out. Like the trees have some room. There's not some dead brambles everywhere. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some fuel on the ground, but it is low. So I don't know, too bad. Whoa, almost tripped, caught myself. It happens. Let's see, beaver, Old Spice, and Fact are up front. I'm in the middle, and Bus, and uh, Wind Chime, and Legs of Steel are behind me. And some may go 20 miles, and some of us may go 26. But uh, we're all shooting for 
uh, ride at 10 o'clock in the morning for Trout City. They seem pretty uh, organized there with the Trail Angels, so it's pretty cool. Uh, they offer shuttles and stuff, and we've heard nothing but good things about the town, so we're excited, even though it's a real quick in and out stop. Whew, well, had a break with uh, Windchime. He had some dinner, I had a snack. I'm gonna wait till camp, but I uh, seem to have uh, hurt my ankle again. Same, not ankle, but like the tendon that goes around the ankle, like I had in the desert, it is hurting. It usually takes a little minute to warm up. Um, but that sucks, it's really slowing me down. I got another five miles to do. Um, I almost don't want to stop. I almost just want to go 10 and wait by the road for our ride to town tomorrow. But um, I think I'll just go five and elevate my feet. And if bus uh, comes, I'll have him look at it. But yeah, usually it goes away after a little while once you warm it up. But it's really hurting. <laughs> I think it was yesterday we had some really steep switchbacks, so it's probably what did it. But yeah, that's my update. Other than that, my my feet are really good. I feel pretty good, except I'm hungry all the time now. It's weird. Um, and I'm excited to have breakfast and or lunch tomorrow in this unexpected stop we're going to do <laughs> at Trout Lake. Hey everybody. So last night my ankle was really hurting. Um, I elevated it last night. This morning it was excruciating. Um, but uh, once I was walking around I had a walk to the road for five miles it it felt better but uh we got here to trout lake and i decided to stay behind and kind of rest for a few days make sure it's okay but i found this great little bed and breakfast right by a creek trout lake creek <laughs> So, just gonna hang out here for a couple days and then catch up with the tramway, uh, hopefully at White Pass. Morning, everybody. Well, uh, as I said, I uh, hurt my ankle. Um, and this is really anticlimactic. I'm not sure how I did that. I didn't fall off a cliff. I wasn't being chased by a bear or anything exciting, but... Uh, yeah, just, it's swollen, and uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I think this, the tendons around my ankle just got overworked. Maybe it's from the 24-hour challenge, and I just uh, went up some steep switchbacks up from Cascade Locks. Maybe it was just too much. So my lovely parents picked me up uh, out at Trout Lake, uh, which is a lovely small town. Uh, that's really friendly to hikers. Uh, everyone should stop there if you're hiking. They're great. And um, I'm trying to rest. Uh, the rest of the tramley, they're going to go hike to White Pass. Um, and then Old Spice's uncle is going to pick them up and they're going to have a couple zeros. And then they'll continue another 28 miles to Chinook Pass, which I've done in the past. So I'm hoping maybe if I rest a few days I can get back on trail and catch up with them there and, and then go back and do uh, the goat rot goat rocks section which is about 67 miles that I'll be skipping um, some other time and if my ankle doesn't heal by then um, I'm still probably go up to Chinook Pass and uh, do some trail magic with them, bring them up some sodas and maybe cook up some burgers or something um, so they have a little treat and I can see them again because uh, it all happened pretty quick. 
that means there may be a few sections uh, I'll have to go back and do someday. Go rock section is supposed to be really pretty, so maybe I'll do a call out to some old high school buddies or college friends um, and see if uh, anyone wants to hike it with me. And you know, I don't want to put anyone on the spot or say any names, but you know, like Craig Lasley, Mike Rickert, Mike Fox, maybe uh, Ryan Samara. Uh, J.C. Smith, Keith Corrado, Joe Belcher, Marty Evans. You know, just, you know, no big deal. No pressure, but it could be fun. Um, so maybe we can talk about that someday, guys. But, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I'm elevating. I'm putting ice on this thing. I'm doing uh, Rocky Balboa training to try to get back on the trail. I'm going to go swimming and lift some weights a little bit and um, then just rest this ankle. Uh, but still try to keep my mobility so I can still do those 20 mile days and whatnot. So, um, hopefully this is not the end. Hopefully we get a second season. <laughs> um, but I'll let you guys know one way or another and definitely we'll take the camera up for uh, trail magic. But I think I may take a few days off of video, uh, videoing. <laughs> so see you later. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Pretty smoky up there. I'm headed to pick up legs. I think she's done. Don't blame her, it's cold, it's smoky. Hopefully she's doing all right. The fire. It's actually two or three of them. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Let's wait for a clearing. That's nice. Right up that way. Yeah, uh, I thought that was kind of oddly pretty. Hey. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not done. Yeah, it's really smoky up there. Yeah, you can't see as well. I do a terrible job of letting you guys know what's going on. So, although my journey's over, um, my hurt foot or ankle, uh, the tendons are getting better. The swollen's go swelling's going down. So I'm stoked about that. Um, so it's getting better every day, but I think I'm done for the year. Uh, I don't want to risk anything. And it's really hard to know um, where to quit because there's fires up north parts of the trail are closed hearts pass there's uh landslides so it's hard to get uh, people picked up and and the logistics um i just picked up legs yesterday um she's done uh she uh she has some um she's gonna go up to alaska and visit some friends and it's just a good stopping point for her and i get it uh, there's just no terminus to touch so it's kind of disappointing but uh my mom has gone through a lot of trouble uh to get some trail magic together and what that is is uh we're just gonna go up to the trailhead and um give out sodas and beers and uh, sandwiches and chips and that sort of thing to hikers but more importantly it's my family uh, we're gonna meet them up there and surprise them and uh, uh, take care of them for today and that'll probably be uh, one of the last times I see them all together I'm hoping um, Bus gets up there he was a day or two behind um, it'd be really neat if uh, Monique was there but I think she's far away uh, so won't be there but It'll be good to see all the guys again, and uh, so we're gonna go up there and check them out. And also, I think Maya and uh, Caveman will be there too, who are people that we've seen on the trail before. So that's what we're doing today. We are waiting at Lake Tipsu for the tramway to show up. It is foggy out here, so I don't think they're gonna see much of the views. Apparently there's a lake out there. <laughs> it's super foggy. Um, but hoping, hoping to see them soon. Hopefully they find it. This is a cool plant with all the berries. But 
uh, it is pretty cold. Um, we had a view of Mount Rainier on the way up and everything, but now it's just a blanket of fog. So <laughs> they probably didn't see much of anything. Hopefully we find each other through the fog. We have a bunch of food for them. So, yes, <laughs> good. You mind being filmed? <laughs> There's the beef. <laughs> they made it. They found us. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> No. I'm coming to watch No. What's that? Creep selfie. My last video cameo. The people need to know. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Hello everybody. It's been a few weeks now and my ankle's still a little swollen, but I can walk. It doesn't hurt. Um, but the hike's over. I don't know why you're still watching. <laughs> anyway, just to kind of get some closure, um, I was able to spend uh, a night up in Seattle with Old Spice and Legs, and we had a great time um, shopping for clothes because we wore the same things for five months. Um, went out for a nice dinner and, and celebrated, and um, we just had a great time. And then I took them to the airport and they are gone. The rest of the tramway, I believe, is still going at least to Leavenworth because the fires have taken out the uh, terminus, so they can't touch it. So, again, it's just choose your own ending and what you, when you feel like the trail has given you what you needed, it's time to bail, or if the fires stop you, then you have to bail too. So, Anyway, I wish them luck um, to keep going as far as they need to go. And um, it was really a really fun experience and I'll never forget it. And I definitely encourage all of you who are interested to do the PCT to, to go for it. And feel free to ask me questions. You can reach me at uh, themercilessmerchants at gmail.com. Uh, if you have questions about hiking or you want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons or whatever it is, let me know. Reach out. Um, I would really like to thank Eric Allen for doing all the video editing and putting these videos together for me. This wouldn't have happened without him. So thank you, Eric. You're awesome. And thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy.